Ready? Hello there internet, I'm Chris Capel and welcome to the Game Watcher video review of Evolve. And let's address the elephant in the room first. Through one of the worst marketing campaigns in gaming history, Evolve has become a highly controversial game. While the base game is a fun little asymmetrical multiplayer game from Turtle Rock, the makers of Left 4 Dead, 2K's marketing has painted it as a vessel to sell DLC. Moreover, the spread of different conflicting purchase options available takes the sound idea of don't confuse the consumer and shoots it into space. For example, having more than one special edition depending on your system and store, many different DLC packs, an expensive season pass that only seems to add skins and a few new hunters, and that's even before you install the game. For those that don't know, Evolve is an asymmetrical multiplayer game, as I mentioned, where four players hunt a giant monster controlled by a fifth player. While there are several different modes, the main goal is to either kill the hunters or kill the monster, depending on what side you're on. The monster Odyssey has to feed on local wildlife in order to both increase its armour and to fill a bar that eventually allows it to evolve to a more powerful form. Once it reaches stage 3, it's at its full power and can either choose to destroy a power generator or turn the tables on the hunters. That's the main hunt one-off skirmish mode in a nutshell. There's also evacuation, which is a string of five maps with different objectives in each. There's also three other straight modes. Nest, where there's a string of monster eggs around the map, which the monster can hatch to spawn an AI-controlled mini-monster, whereas the hunters have to destroy them all. Rescue, where the hunters have to find and evacuate survivors and the monster has to kill them. Finally, there's Defend, where a stage 3 monster and a group of minions has to take down a series of structures within a time limit while the hunters defend them. There's also offline single player versions of all these, but they really shouldn't be taking this anything more than practice. Playing with bots really isn't recommended, as the AI in the game fears between helpful and totally useless. It's all good, but immediately there are a couple of flaws. First off, I could be screwing up entirely, but I cannot see a way to play a one-off Evolve skirmish game of any mode except Hunt. You can play Nest, Rescue and Defend in Evacuation, but not separately. I'm going to keep on looking because this seems crazy to me, but right now the only options are Hunt and Evacuation, unless you set up a customised friends only game. Secondly though, this still really isn't enough. The modes are all nice, but as mentioned, they're kind of just hidden in an evacuation campaign. And as for Hunt, I had a, a simple goal for myself with this review. I would keep playing Evolve, obviously with breaks of food, social life, etc, and see how long it took me to get bored with Evolve's main regular Hunt mode. The answer was three days. I played all the different roles, including the monster, and bear in mind I played a lot of this game pre-release, and when I played it previously I was really enjoying it. But now? I'd rather go back to Left 4 Dead 2. That's a rather major problem for a game that's been out less than a week. Granted, it's a very personal thing, but here's my reasoning. The gameplay of Evolve is straightforward, but with plenty of room for strategy and growth. An unskilled hunter could track the monster in all the wrong ways, miss with the mobile arena, a vital part of play, or not support your fellow players properly, and an unskilled monster could make far too much noise, linger too long in one area, or not target the medical support guys properly when attacking. Once players start getting more skilled, things get more tactical and cat and mouse like, where the monster often is at a disadvantage, but it just takes a few hunter slip ups to put them back in the game. This is the fun part of Evolve. However, unfortunately you quickly discover that there's only a set amount of things that can actually happen. Yes, the monster can be a very good player who evades really well, but I soon realised that the same things go on every match. Even if players start really thinking tactically, everyone's still just running about a map making the same moves every time. You could argue that's the same in every multiplayer game, but the difference with Evolve is that there's no real amount of skill here. You can work out what everything does fairly quickly, and while there's a fair amount of getting better at classes, there's only a small amount of variety to mess about in. Even the other modes are deeply flawed. Rescue can be tough on hunters as the survivors are all incredibly dumb. Defend is fun, but far too easy to win as the Kraken with his powerful long distance attacks. 
and Nest, it's very difficult to win as the monster because it forces you to confront the hunters before you're ready and they can just wipe you out, unless they're very crap of course. And Hunt just gets dull too fast. I haven't even mentioned yet about the fact that all the maps seem to blend into one another and all feel pretty identical, with the exception of Barracks, which is just plain badly designed. Furthermore, there are a few maddening things outside of the game that frustrate far too often, like poor matchmaking that can put you with a bunch of idiots who got to a high rank through single player alone, being thrown into a game in the middle of a match, even in evacuation, and not actually getting to choose what game you get to join. In short, play with friends if possible. In the end I found myself playing for unlocks and upgrades rather than because I was just having a good time and wanted to play more. New hunters, monsters and perks can change things enough to be interesting at least, and monsters in particular are vastly different from one another. The Goliath is a clumsy brute, the Kraken is a floating death machine and moves swiftly around the map, and the Wraith is a sneaky git. Even so, you still use the same tactics against them, but they offer enough difference for a while to make things exciting again. For a while. It's maddening that we have to pay for further unlocks though. Ah yes, before I finish off I want to talk about the DLC and whether it hurts the game. First off, there's a store button on the main menu and everything there is vastly overpriced. £5.79 or $6.99 for a not very good monster skin or a £19.99, £24.99 season pass that doesn't actually include any of the DLC listed on the Evolved DLC e page or any future DLC like any new monsters. All pretty disgusting and highly confusing but fortunately you can play the base game of Evolve without any of that and you both don't feel you're missing out on anything and you still have plenty to unlock. However I'll probably change my tune when the new monsters start turning up for £20 each. And seriously, it's just the, got the worst excuse for a season pass I've ever seen. And that includes Aliens Colonial Marines. Evolve can be a very fun game, but it's also a very limiting one. Once you get past the initial learning curve, matches quickly start blending into one, and that's not just because the maps feel identical. Even the joy of hunting and thinking tactically gets diluted when you're actually pulling the same moves every time, to the point where I questioned whether I was playing for fun or just to unlock new shit. Furthermore, a host of matchmaking difficulties, not to mention not being able to choose the mode, class or game you want to play, make playing online more frustrating than it needs to be. And don't even get me started on the DLC. Get friends together, or good all round players, and Evolve can be a blast. But anything less than that, and you'll be bored in far too short a time. Evolve still gets a good 7.0 score, but it's not quite the evolution in multiplayer gaming we had hoped for. Thanks for watching everyone, Chris Capel and Game Watcher out. Yeah.